Peace, Joseph. What happens when you up under a narc? When I say narc, I mean it's a narcissist, all right? That's part of the cluster B personality disorder. What happens is you get idolized, devalued, and then discarded, depending on what the narc needs you for. Now, this is a broken personality and mental disorder. This can be also gaslighted upon to you as a people. Man, look at it, Joseph. The Marukans, the Nakas. Look at all the gaslighting and projection. This is psychology 1000. 101 1000. Look at all the gaslighting and projection that they do on the black celebrities. Some who so called sold their souls or whatnot, you know, um, gave their soul away. It just we're going to be an illusion, you know, if they haven't vibed up. The most I sent some angels, to, the angels get that soul right back upon transition, you know. But in the flesh, they can plant fear in the mug, you know, especially with death, if you don't understand it. And uh, most likely gave examples of death at its most harshest of realities and showing the light, you know. So, and then on the lower realities as well, lower times too, where it's just transitioning just into sleep and appear to you later, you know. So it's all different kind of things. It's for those who can see Sargus, and Sargus is a gift. It's kind of like clairvoyance. You can see the light, the light being you're able to see upon a higher um, vibratorial frequency now. And that's cool. We want to train our children to use those things, to use those gifts, instead of just shut them up. Because when I was coming up, like in the 80s, 70 baby going growing up in the 80s, you know, shit, it was crack. <laughs> so our parents were gone all the goddamn time. So we had to raise ourselves off cartoons and inspirational cartoons and catch the cream from that and try to be the best that we can be from doing that, you know? Let alone we was eating the wrong foods because we was, on a, we was being spiritually attacked. And when you spiritually attack somebody, you give them the wrong foods, you know? You give them foods that plant parasites in them so it'd be easier for the um, for the entities, the Drujas, which is the just beings who just roam the earth plane, who got gangs, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? They, they're, not higher, I, they're not higher up in the, in the spiritual world, but they there. I'm talking about who got rank as the one who's are the false gods and stuff like that. Because they had your ass um, on the other side doing the same damn thing, but you can't die, so they know how to torment you and shit. So, yeah. Anyhow. And this is what we're here to bring in the, the actual cosmology and how we run, uh, how the heavens is ran, and how it operates in this true divinity. So, you being up under a culture who's narcissistic, most likely a, a sociopathic narcissist. Sociopaths are naturally narcissists. Narcissists are not all social. Are not sociopaths. Remember, let me say this again. Sociopaths all are narcissists. They have the narcissistic trait, and it's really pathological with them. You know, whether they have the trait or not, but pathologically they have it. And but all narcissists are not sociopaths or you know psychopaths, but. In reality, this is all psychopathy, so it's like where you line up at it anyways. But narcissists, most likely, um, when it comes lying down to it, I ain't gonna say most likely, they're not sociopaths. So, when you're dealing with a borderline personality disorder, who's very, basically an empath, so borderline personality is borderline psychopath. You know, that's kind of like the, um, the the one who can be seen as a very sexual being, who cut they self, and, you know, very in tune with, with nature and stuff like that, but they have a disliking about certain things that happened when they was growing up and probably was exposed to sex early and wasn't able to have the strength to channel it and transmute that energy and that pain to give it strength and to use it for their um, their purpose, you know? So sometimes they lash out or they'll be the ones that really do the same thing to idolize the body and discard. So when you have a narcissistic entity, psychopathic entity, which is still a narcissist, it's like a entity that's like, let's look at it like this, over the Marukans, the Nakas, the Nakas is like the borderlines, they're very cool, they, yeah, they, you know what I mean, they, they're very cool and calm and empathic, but also they're astronics as well, which is a, a, a very flamboyant, colorful, lively type of energy, you know, and when it's broken in the energy, it's like in a point where they're just doing anything to get attention, it's like anything to get attention, it's like you can tell when a person's like, if you're kind of balanced a little bit, or depending on where you're at on your psychopathy level, you'll, excuse me, you'll see, that's going to be some oranges, I'm trying to get the air out of me, so, but you'll see, okay, damn, they kind of broke, in. they would have had this smooth little talent, that it would have been like, oh, it's nice, and, you know what I'm saying, um, otherworldly, or, you know, whatever the hell they got, you know, it's like, 
alternative look they got to they self. And they give us style, you know. Um, histronics, cool. Like, you know, you got, I'm histronic. I already know. I know my, I know mine. I'm histronically with, you know, borderline, and, you know, never really was a, a narcissist, but I was more of a psychopath. So I know my whole little thing, you know what I mean? And that's the whole thing. You got to find out yours and balance it out. Because we, as not because we know how to deal with each other, because we know each other's sciences. We've been around our genes around longer, so we know how to adapt. The new genes, they don't know. They just, the spirits got up in them. They probably was, some of these um, beings were made in laboratories and shit like that. So the spirit that was breathed into them was lowered down in the vibration and wasn't ripened yet. And so when they came into the flesh, they not even have time to even ripen. So they're doing some, some shit that's ass backwards. You can say gay or whatever. Just doing opposite of what nature is. It's just like, damn, they're not even done. So what the Naga try to do, just like how any borderline try to do to their narcissistic boyfriend, they try to help him out. They're like, damn, you ain't done. I know something wrong with you, man. You seem like you're just void of nothing. Like every time I put some water in you, y'all always leaking out. Same thing with the Marukan and, and the, you know, the, the colonizing entity. Because you got the real Europeans who were black, or what we call black, we have to use their terms right now.